the Rocket Development Lab is an undergraduate rocket program here at Embry-Riddle Prescott. The RDL is an organization that houses all rocketry projects here on campus. Um, we have students who have, are fresh on campus all the way to seniors graduating that all work on projects in here. And the school calls it a club, but it's really so much more than that. It's just a, a program and a gathering of like-minded people that are all just beyond stoked about rocketry. It's a club, but deep down it's a group of just really cool people they're really passionate about rockets and engineering. We also do liquid rocketry. Um, we have uh, multiple test stands on campus. We fly hobby rockets. Uh, we develop all our own propellants and we test our own engines on campus. It's all undergraduate led and we uh, are really focused on bringing anybody who wants to learn about rocketry into the club and working with everybody who's who just is passionate about rockets. If you have some type of project that you want to do, we will be here to support you. We also have this great facility and lab um, that we get to do our projects in, uh, do homework in, and just collaborate with peers. From propulsion to launch vehicles and research. Anything rocket related, we do it. The Rocket Development Lab uh, started back in 2016. Uh, it was formerly known as Eagle Aerospace. It was then reorganized into the Rocket Development Lab. And then it blossomed to encompass more uh, research and capstone projects as people got into industry more. And kind of as uh, more people joined and as more passion kind of came in, uh, people started expanding outwards, starting to work on solid propulsion, liquid propulsion, and eventually flight vehicles that housed uh, those propulsion devices and we undertake a lot of the most difficult projects seen on campus, uh, especially done by undergraduate groups and done by students in their free time. Our rocket test facility here on campus is a series of three test cells that uh, we operate, maintain and operate here on, at Embry-Riddle Prescott. We have, uh, like I said, three test, test facilities, uh, two for solid motor oper uh, test operations. Um, test cell one uh, is a, has a, solid, a stand in it and we t it's a little uh, concrete bunker. But it's a test stand uh, where we test a lot of our solid propellant um, and we test different grain geometries in there. Along with different propellants, we characterize all our propellants in uh, test cell one. Test cell two is a larger test cell one uh, and so we test all our larger motors in there. It's also been retrofitted to accept a, a vertical stand and so we stand some of our liquid rockets vertically on it on a little stand and then we can hot fire them in test cell two uh, using guy wires and hole numbers. Really cool. Test cell three is our kind of pride and joy and the crown and jewel of the RDL, um, or at least the liquids program within the RDL. Uh, it is a liquid rockets and or it's a liquid rocket engine test stand. Uh, it takes up to 5,000 pound force um, and we've tested up to a thousand pound force rocket engines on there. It's designed to run with liquid oxygen and either jet A or ethanol. Uh, and then we have all the instrumentation and the feed system self-contained in that stand. Uh, it's a, our only entirely inside, internal stand and self-contained stand. Everything else you kind of have to bring your stuff to it. But with test L3, you can actually leave your stuff down there and uh, test while you're, or fix stuff as, during your test campaign. You don't have to tear down and set up every day. It's one of the only facilities like it in its kind uh, at an undergraduate program in the country. Uh, it's also entirely student maintained and student run, uh, which is unique within the country. It's an absolutely amazing feat of engineering that the Capstone who, team who built it, uh, it was, uh, they undertook it. It turned out amazing. I, I'm truly thankful and impressed by them every day I'm down there. The RDL has accomplished a lot of things. Oh, that's a long list. We have successfully tested two different liquid bipropellant rocket engines. We have built a liquid flight vehicle and tested it. Which is something that not many universities get to do. We recently have uh, tested the largest motor on a campus, which produced 910 pounds of thrust for around eight and a half seconds. Um, on our own formula that was developed around a year and a half ago, as well as characterized several smaller motors of the same propellant. We've been working on a number of 
Arizona Space Grant Research Projects. We've been working on a number of uh, undergraduate research institute research projects, um, as well as big group projects that are like development projects for the club. So from there, we have just been working on really pushing uh, the School of Development into rocketry. I think the biggest thing the RDL has accomplished is teaching all the members within the club. Uh, there are some students that have brought, or every student that comes through the RDL will learn uh, so much more than if they weren't in the RDL. Uh, so our biggest accomplishment is teaching all those students coming through. Uh, we have students that uh, come away with internships or job opportunities that they would have never gotten without the experience gained in the RDL. So students join, joining the club will really learn from their uh, from the opportunities presented uh, by the club and from the testing experience the in just rocketry in general that we uh, undertake here at the club. It's an experience that uh, not many people get to get and the accomplishments that we have and the accomplishments we look forward to uh, are some that you can't get anywhere else.